Welcome back to the Food Guy. Is your food guy and your food guide. So on today's food guide, two hole-in-the-wall restaurants and convenience stores. One, tacos and burgers, but our first spot, let's just say this spot has a little bit of passion to it. At 950 South Carrier Parkway at Unit 110, inside the Amigos C store, in the very back you will find the Passion Cafe, which you could say is a passion project by Chef Amani Richardson. Here you will find cheesesteaks, burgers, wings, soul food, stuffed turkey legs, all the stuff that I enjoy. But I got their Thursday special, which was a soul food platter, and also how to get I got a chopped salmon cheesesteak. So we're gonna see what that's about. Enough about me and more about this food. Oh, oh my gosh. This is their soul food platter. Fried catfish, mac and cheese, seafood dressing. Mm. If that wasn't enough, I also had to try their Philly cheesesteak and wings. Pretty big platter. I've never had a salmon cheesesteak before. I got their wings, I got the honey hot. We're gonna see how I handle that. Sweet fries. Their menu's pretty big. I've seen mixed reviews. I see a lot of people complain about like the wait times. It is a made to order restaurant, guys. So it's not fast food. You know, they make it fresh. It smells good. I didn't think I was gonna find this spot inside of a convenience store. Desserts, guys, you know, I can't go without it. Honey bun cake. We'll start with this catfish. Light breading. The catfish is soft. I'm liking the batter. I'm liking the catfish itself. I will say, a little salty on the batter. I'd rather have seasoned catfish than bland catfish. I've had that issue before in the past, but... Mmm, it's like, it's like an avalanche in my tongue. Like, all that flavor. You know, it's also, it's a pretty good-sized catfish. I mean, for what it is. Plates range from like $15 to $20, guys, but at least you're getting a good bulk. Mac and cheese time. Oh, yeah. No cheese pool. Good mac, really fatty. Mm. <laughs> Loving the cheese taste, but I guess like uh, I like my mac a little crispy on the top, like a little torch, but you know, time it is, guys. Who's got my arteries like that? Salt mac, seafood dressing. I love seafood, I love dressing. I remember the first time I had it was at a Granny's Cajun Kitchen. Let's see how the Passion Cafe does it. Oh, yeah. Oh, getting a little heat off that. A little spicy, well done. Try the cornbread, good square, love to see it. Really sweet, nice cake, but none like to write home about. So like for their specials, changes them every week. Uh, and he updates them every Sunday, so it's not always the same. You know, you got this passion bowls, you know, they do stuffed turkey legs on the weekends. Those are really popular, but you know, good soul food plate, you know. For what it is, I vibe. Man, I guess like seafood dressing is just undefeated, guys. Can't go wrong with seafood dressing and catfish. A little salty, but hey, tastes great. Mac, good, not amazing. And cornbread, you know, standard cornbread. For the other one, guys, never had a cheesesteak that wasn't messy. Ooh, taste-wise, amazing. Man, I've never thought I'd say I'd have a salmon cheesesteak. The sauce is not like too cheesy, but this salmon, oh, that's perfect. You know, the cheese, the sauce, the peppers, the salmon, and the bread roll is soft. This salmon, yo, low key, this, this is awesome. Yo, salmon and cheese, who would have thought? Oh my God, I'm getting full, I'm hitting the wall. That salmon cheesesteak is definitely a heater. Sweet fries with the sauce. These actually remind me of Wingstop fries, which you can go either way. Sauce is, adds nice to it. Not crunchy, more soft, good fry though. Forgot the sauce, can't forget about the sauce. Looks like Big Mac sauce. Better than Big Mac sauce. Nice. Kind of want to do something dastardly real quick. Mm, my God. You're doing too much for us. You're doing too much. All right, finally, their wings. Good size wing. Yo, this honey hot. It's got me hot. Oh, that sweet glaze on there. And then that heat that just hits right at the end. That's a perfect wing. My usual safe bet flavors are like lemon pepper or like garlic parm. They had lemon pepper, but you want to try a honey hot. Nice juicy white meat. Flat though, a little, little crispy. Just cut my throat. A little too fried, a little over fried, but it tastes amazing though. Never waste none on the wing. This food is messy. It is delicious. It is passionate. I can say that without a doubt. Passion Cafe. I have my reservations. I've seen kind of mixed reviews. It's worth the wait, guys. It's worth the drive to Grand Prairie. Oh my God. That salmon cheesesteak, game changer. And last, gotta finish with desserts. They had a, I think they had a strawberry cake and then like a banana pudding, standard. Spongy. You see the glaze all over the cake. Whew, Lord have mercy. Mm. 
It's a real spongy cake. I'm not really getting a whole lot of icing, but low key though, it's, it's actually tasting like a honey bun. Like looking at it, you think it'd be like crazy sweet, but it's really not. It's a nice soft sponge cake. I love that. That's perfect actually. Good way to top it off. Chef Amani Richardson, thank you for giving us your passionate food. All in all, Passion Cafe, y'all check it out. But this next spot I'm going to is also hole in the wall spot inside a convenience store in the heart of Grand Prairie. And they're serving some tacos and burgers. Enough about me and more about this food. Pacheco Taco and Burger, you can find them. I do not know the convenience store name, but I'll put the address right there. Mother and son, Cecilia and Adan. Their story goes back a little bit. Uh, Cecilia has been in the food industry for a while now. She's even worked in Las Vegas at Emerald's restaurant. And Adan attended a culinary school here in Dallas. Cecilia was running a small restaurant and asked her son to help. And you know, they've just been running out of the, uh, the Safeway or since. They've had uh, some moderate success. I think I saw a magazine clip of The Observer. Love to see it, family run. Here guys, it's pretty simple and they serve burgers and tacos. But along that too, you will find kind of uh, deviations on lunch staples, but with the Mexican twist, i.e. barbacoa, grilled cheese, carne asada, fries. Enough about me and more about this food. Oh, this. They got their own agua frescas, guys. Man, they're fresh and dude, this cucumber limonada, refreshing indeed let's start off with their burger guys and this looks immaculate this is their kelly house burger it's got poblano onions it's a chipotle sauce this thing's got a kick it is a smash burger guys <laughs> the soup nazi one you can't eat it standing up your knees will buckle boy i didn't really get any of the poblano but this burger it's crispy and juicy at the same time as the textbook smash burger. Bun's got a nice toast of chipotle sauce. Getting the onions, definitely getting some zing. I will say this though, the poblanos, the heat factor is very low, but honestly, like the smash burger is juicy, crispy. Wish the poblano was a little more prevalent, but the Kelly house burger, carne asada fries, carne asada bacon. What the hell, beans? <laughs> all right, loaded fries. Not bad at all, actually. Trying to get some bits with the carne asada. Yeah, good juice, good sear. Yeah, you know, I'm so used to avocado, but you know, loaded fries. I like the refried beans. It's nice, I enjoy that. Actually, that's hidden, actually. Man, whoa, hold up. <laughs> oh man, my heartbeat just kind of like, whew, oh, whew. <laughs> Yeah, Kelly House Burger, dude, damn. That's a good burger. Carne asada, good taste, cooked well, good season. Yeah. This is their barbacoa grilled cheese. Kind of reminds me of burger schmurger, kind of. Inverted bun. Oh, that, that barbacoa looks fat. It is soaked into the bun, actually. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is about as unhealthy as you, get, as you see the cheese right here. Ooey gooey perfection. Fatty barbacoa. <laughs> it's, it's greasy to all hell, but I'm getting something sweet that I wasn't expecting. And I'm low key enjoying that. The barbacoa, tender, flavorful. The cheese, I mean, I think it's monster cheese, but great addition. I don't know if there's caramelized onions in here, but there's a sweet factor that I'm enjoying in this grilled cheese. God damn. It's messy, it doesn't look appealing, but it tastes down and dirty. That's how I love it. Yeah, that grilled cheese, man. And of course, guys, they do serve tacos. Got a barbacoa chingon and a fajita. And you see, pickled. Got the crema. We already did the lime, onion, cilantro. Love to see it. Pretty good. I will say this the meat just didn't really taste that season though. Thank God for the cilantro, onions, and of course the lime. Barbacoa chingon. Ooh, this looks good. That's the one. It's washing over my taste buds. I do enjoy this taco, man. I wish I got another one of the barbacoa chingon. And of course, while you're waiting, you can be inclined to buy, you know, snacks and drinks and stuff. Eli did, but I think Pacheco, they cover all bases. They have different burgers. They have a chorizo burger. It's a chef special. They do have the regular smash burger. They got quesadillas. They got tortas. I think Pacheco taco and burger is a spot. I need to start exploring Grand Prairie more, guys. So if there's like some spots in Grand Prairie that, that you think I would enjoy, comment down below, guys. That smash burger. I like it better than one of the burgers at Burger Schmurger. I'm gonna say that. That's with me. Tacos, you know, one for two. And of course the grilled cheese. God, man, that was an interesting grilled cheese. It doesn't look appealing, but it tastes amazing. <laughs> oh man, my arteries are clogging as we speak.
I did 15 miles today, so this honestly is hitting the spot. You know, we love to see a mom and son come up. You know, you kind of got that homemade vibe. I'm down in Cecilia. Keep doing what you're doing. You got my support. Pacheco, Taco and Burgers. Check it out in Grand Prairie, guys. You will not regret it. We made this part of the video. Thank you for watching. A little short and sweet video, guys. I got a lot in store. Coming off the Austin trip. Big year ahead, guys. Thank y'all so much. If you want to stay up to date about all the cool places to eat around Dallas and the DFW Metroplex, subscribe down below. Drop a like. I am the food guy and your food guide. Enough about me and more about this food. Peace. Damn, Chopper, what the hell?